Okay, guys, uh, here's what we got so far from the uh, scope. Um, I fixed up the tape on the crosshairs that we made here. Um, the actual tape that you were supposed to use for the vinyl and for that clear sheet was some wide duct tape that's about an inch and a half long. I mean, wide. So that's a really good tape to use if you want to make like a coverage here. So that looks pretty good for now. <clears throat> so we've got the dials. You've got the whole body structure and everything. So here we are. The knob. Um, keeps cutting that strip that we were earlier. Now, for the strip, wrap it around. As you can see, it's kind of too big for me because I did it wrong. Because um, I made the muzzle a little too big and I left such a little space through here. So what I have to do is cut it a bit shorter. Just keep adjusting until you get your right size for uh, the small space between the dial and the and where you see through, I just call it the muzzle or whatever. Alright, that's pretty good. So wrap the strip around. Keep wrapping it, keep wrapping it, till you get to the end. And just tape it down. Put your scotch. I'm about to run out soon. Sadly. Keep wrapping that joint up. And you've got your focus knob so far. Now let's add some detail to this. Just like you did with the tactical whale, it takes this. And just coil it up nicely. You don't have to make a roll if you don't want to, just sort of. So you get to the end, doesn't really matter when you stop. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good now. Huh? No. Uh. Alright, tape that up good. Now measure a little bit. It has to be a little shorter than the width here. So cut it to about this much. Remember, depending on how you did it. Now, you can do this with tape if you want also, but uh, I'll do it with glue. Faster for me. And plus it leaves more of some space for others. Just keep pasting it right here. I just keep cutting those small pieces. Just like we did with the uh, tactical rail. But except you're just going to cover this whole thing so it can stay nicely on that knob. Now as you can see I made this a little too, a little too wide. So. Just adjusting it. Don't mind that. All right. So now what you want to get, it, what you want to do is do this for um, the whole area now, so I don't have to talk anymore. Just 
follows. Bring that last one there. Basically done with your sculpt. Now what you want to do to mount this onto your um hold on. Let me cut this a bit, it's kinda big. See this should slide perfectly. All right, so now you've got your scope basically done and everything. You've got your dials, your focus knob and everything. Now, let's look back at that little mount we made for our tactical rail here. Now, what we want to do is get the right height for you. So, this isn't up to me, the measurements. It's up to you, based on what you think will be accurate. Now. Remember, I made this way too high because it's a bit inaccurate on my sniper and I have to aim higher than usual. So you want to make this a bit shorter. So take a nice tube, take a sheet of paper and make two tubes, depending on the size of your scope that you just made. Now take these, this little tube up real good. Okay, so to mount this onto here, whichever one works best for you, this one, this half of it. Alright, so we've got that. Remember this? We made this in part two, I believe. This mounts right onto here. So, what you want to do is, this is too high, remember. So, what you want to do is cut it to about this big. Crap. All right, let me cut another one. That big. Even it out a bit. Cut out another two. I'm trying to do this within the minute and 30 seconds that I have left here. Actually, less than 30 seconds. Um, this one should be a bit smaller than this one because we want the scope to actually, like, face downward a bit toward the uh, barrel of your gun. That was bad. I'm sorry, guys. Pulled on the cord. Alright, I'm not going to be able to fit all of this into this vid. So I'm, I'm going to have like, the next part is only going to be like one minute, so that thing's going to upload quick, so don't worry. See you in the next one. Anyway, paste this one really quickly here.